Well, they do seem to like to spend a bit of time around the wildebeest. These, of course, are the topi. And there are many topi in the sighting, aren't there, Fergus? Plenty. Dozens of them. And I've never seen a grouping of topi this large before. I'm not sure what they think they're doing, why they're in such a group. Perhaps the males are in the process of doing what they... of licking. Licking, of course, is the males when they display for the females. And the females then get to choose who's the best lecker of them all. Are you a good lecker, Fergus? I'm particularly poor at lecking, I think. Lecking is, you know, they talk about lecking as being something that largely bird species do. Uh, I think there are one or two primate species that do it. And I would argue that uh, human beings lek quite a lot. Males display, females then choose which ones they think lek the best. Have you ever been complimented for your licking, Fergus? Mm, not in such terms. I haven't either. In fact, no one has ever accused me of licking at all. Ah, now Anna Marie, you want to know which antelope lives the longest of all the antelope in the Mara? Well, I'm going to say they all have an average age of about 10 years. The littler, the littler the antelope is, though, the less long it will live. So you'll find, I think, that something like a reed buck probably doesn't live quite as long as something like a wildebeest, which in turn does not live quite as long as the biggest antelope we get out here, Fergus, is the... Earland, well done. So I think it is probably the earland that lives the longest of any antelope here, and I would say that it has a potential lifespan of around 18 years. Whether they manage to get that old here, I'm not sure, but I think it potentially could live that long in this area. We haven't done a lot of earland watching since we've been here. Gosh, this is a beautiful, beautiful place. It really is. Now, our plan from here, I haven't really orientated you properly today, I don't think. What we did was we came in a gate called the Mosiara Gate, which is in the Masai Mara National Reserve, which, of course, is different from the Mara Triangle, where we live, basically. It's the same ecosystem, it's just across the river. And our plan is to head down to the northern side of the main crossings and then back up, once we've crossed the river, the other side of the main crossings. Now, I would keep an eye on the Safari Live Facebook page today because there were a number of really fairly harrowing zebra crossings yesterday and it would seem that the... I'm starting, starting to sound a bit cliched now, but the vanguard of the big herds, uh, which of course are the zebra, seem to be making their way up into the northern parts of the Mara ecosystem. on the Safari Live Facebook page today because there were a number of really fairly harrowing zebra crossings yesterday and it would seem that the I'm starting, starting to sound a bit cliched now but the vanguard of the big herds uh, which of course are the zebra seem to be making their way up into the northern parts of the Mara ecosystem